Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of round 8 of my right creation contest. In this month's contest everybody had to make a dive coaster, also known as the vertical drop roller coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Now, uh, in previous rounds uh, players were not allowed to use uh, custom uh, rides, but for this uh, round I made an exception so people were allowed to use the 8 across coaster trains here. And just because they also have uh, sprites for uh, inversions, as you can see here. Alright, um, we had 36 uh, entries in this round. Um, I immediately uh, eliminated a few of those, just so we got to 32 entries. And just to make the voting process uh, a little bit faster for every everyone who wanted to vote on these entries. Anyway, I will just quickly start with the four entries that didn't make it to the voting and after that I'll start at number 32 and then we'll continue on until uh, I show you the winner of this round. Alright, here's the first entry that didn't make it to the voting. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a vertical drop coaster with, uh, that drops into a ship, kind of like a crack at uh, Heide Park. Um, yeah, what I didn't really like about the park was that uh, a lot of it is still just uh, unused grass. Uh, the ship, well, a cool idea, it's uh, really blocky. And the buildings also could have used some more variation. So yeah, if the map was a little bit more filled, uh, it would have probably made it to the, to the voting. Also, uh, the objective was to create a realistic looking dive coaster. And here, this, this uh, mid-course brake run, which goes in a curve that's uh, not really realistic at all. I think the layout of the coaster is a bit uh, too much. Also, it's probably uh, it's usually never a good idea to uh, make these really big supports uh, around the ride. Alright, here's the entry from a left-handed coffee mug. Um, well, not a bad coaster uh, at all. Um, the layout is probably a bit too uh, too complicated for a vertical drop coaster. It's just a bit too much, too many inversions, helixes, tunnels. Uh. Other than that, uh, it's usually not a good idea to, to just spam mine scenery uh, around the building, then call it mine team. And also you should never place grass inside your buildings. That's uh, really not a good idea. Uh, other than that, this uh, secondary coast here just looks a little bit weird to me. And again here, just uh, barrels and stacks of wood stacked around the ride. That's usually not a good idea. So yeah, when zoomed out it's not a bad entry at all. It's just the details that don't really uh, look very nice, in my opinion. Okay, here's another entry that didn't make it. This one was made by Prince Then B. Um, well, yeah, first of all, the dive coaster that he made doesn't really look like a dive coaster. It also uses uh, trains from the Twister coaster. Um, yeah, it really looks more like a Eurofighter or something like that, um, rather than a dive machine. The drop is also really, really low. Um, other than that, this Woody, um, it goes up quite high, and then... Um, I think it has two or three drops, and then there's a sudden break, and then back to the station. So yeah, that's really not a very good uh, layout for a woody. If you make a woody, really, uh, if you're gonna make it that high, then also make the layout a bit longer. I do really like the checkered paths in this uh, entry, and the fountain also looks uh, really good. Uh, the other buildings, however, um, they don't really look like they fit together. I mean, here's... Uh, Here's a maze with mine team, then there's a yellow building next to it, and then there's a, some hall with glass right next to it with alien stuff. So yeah, it all just uh, doesn't really fit together. Alright, and here's the entry from Surfer uh, 1176. Uh, I do like the idea with the cotton candy clouds, the coaster going above it. That's actually quite cool with the color, different color of the coaster above the clouds. Um, other than that, I think the coaster is just way too high for the short layout it has. Um, other than that, the stuff on the ground, it's just, uh, it looks very uh, bare, very bare bones. So yeah, you can see all the, the rocks and uh, the brown stuff uh, spammed here. Um, 
I think it could have used a lot more decoration here on the ground. Uh, also here there's these rocks. Uh, I don't think that really looks good. Other than that, the building is just very uh, blocky. It could have probably used a nicer, uh, nicer shape and just some more uh, decorations and stuff. Alright, now we get to the entries that did make it to the voting. Uh, this is the entry from uh, The Shack, a newcomer on my server, I believe. Uh, so yeah, the, I think the coaster starts off uh, quite nice with a diagonal uh, lift hill. I think that, uh, that works quite well. Um, then it drops down and does a 180 degree uh, turn while going vertical. Um, I don't think that's very uh, realistic for a B&M coaster. And after that it goes through this uh, weird uh, batwing with this stru structure on top. So yeah, when you make an inversion, uh, you should really try to keep the inversion open so everybody has a good look, can have a good look at it. And that you really shouldn't make a weird uh, support structures on it, on top of it. This just looks uh, really weird, and uh, I don't really think this uh, works very well. Um, I do like the amount of buildings uh, in the map, but the buildings themselves, um, yeah, they look a bit uh, boxy. Um, buildings look much better if you don't uh, just use walls and then the same color of blocks they really need a lot more detail to be uh, considered interesting all right here we have the entry from tim burbank um oh as you can probably see um uh, yeah some people really like this entry uh, most people didn't really like it the comments i saw the most were the uh, the colors that uh, probably need to be toned down a bit it's all uh, it's all very very busy um, yeah, some people really were complaining that it hurt their eyes. So yeah, just all these checkered patterns uh, mixed with all the red and well, everything is red and white. Um, I think the colors probably could have been toned down a bit. I mean, this area is already a lot more pleasant to look at. Uh, other than that, the layout of the coaster. Uh, I think it's a bit too much of a mess of uh, helixes here. Which it travels really fast through. through. <laughs> so yeah, um, overall, um, well, overall, I don't think it's a very good entry. But there are some things here that I really like. For example, these structures here with the three D cinema domes. Uh, that actually looks pretty cool. And also, I like I like this uh, fountain. I think that's actually a good usage of the water spout uh, object. Alright, here we have the entry made by H-Man. I actually don't think this is uh, such a bad entry. I actually kind of liked it. The layout, I kind of like the layout of the coaster. It's a big vertical drop here into some inversion. Then into the mid-course break run. Then to another inversion. And then does some more twisty uh, stuff here. And then back to the station. So yeah, layout wise, I don't really think this is a very bad uh, entry. Um, well, what most people didn't like, uh, I think, was uh, that actually quite a lot of the entry is just grass. Um, I c actually kind of like the scenery. Uh, the p my least favorite part of this entry was actually this uh, queue here for the wild mouse. Um, and also the fact that uh, there's probably too many trains on this uh, track. Because uh, you can see the trains waiting on the block breaks uh, every time in several sections. So yeah, it's usually best to have one uh, less train than is allowed when you have block breaks, just to prevent them from uh, always waiting on each other. Alright, then we have the entry from Timidator. Uh, Timidator made this big uh, building here, I think it was a hotel, with a coaster dropping into it from the top. Um, I actually do like this, uh, this area where the coaster drops into the building. Um, but yeah, there was also still a lot in this uh, entry that could uh, could still be improved. Um, for example, this uh, this entrance building. I don't really think it looks very uh, interesting. Um, so yeah, it's just a big uh, oval shaped building, but it doesn't really have an entrance or any interesting things to look at. Uh, that could probably be improved uh, a lot. Um, 
let me quickly turn off the rain. Uh, here's the station building for the coaster. Um, again, when you make a station building, you should try to prevent to make it look like a big square or rectangle. Uh, irregular shapes are usually much more pleasant to look at. So this queue, um, I don't really think this uh, flying saucer style uh, queue area works really well with this, uh, I think this is tropical wood style uh, building. So yeah, you should really try to make stuff uh, fit together. I really don't think uh, a tropic this uh, style building really has anything to, to do with, uh, here in front of the hotel. So yeah, try to uh, make your materials fit with each other. Um, I do kind of like the support structure here under the coaster. That's pretty uh, pretty well done. All right, here we have the entry from Light of the Night. Now, what I really like in this entry is uh, actually the support structure here under the coaster. Um, these these uh, towers made with uh, the launch freefall towers, uh, I think they work quite well with these monorail uh, sections. So yeah, under the lift hill, I think the supports are uh, really well done. Uh, also, I kind of like how the supports are done in this uh, helix over here. That actually looks uh, quite cool. Um, I think the colors of the coaster could have been uh, toned down a little bit. I mean, it's very bright, uh, purple, pink. I'm not really sure that uh, that works really well. Um, but yeah, I do like the the layout of the coaster. Uh, something I really didn't like was... Uh, well, yeah, there's this weird parking lot here, which is actually higher than the normal path. Um, it probably continues on outside of the map, but uh, it it would have probably been best if it wasn't here uh, at all. And my least favorite part of this entry was actually the building over here. Um, it actually has a different... the roofs have a different side than uh, the walls that are used. And, um, well yeah, because the, there's just a wall here, the building just looks very thin. And it also has grass on the inside. So yeah, this, this building especially could have uh, used a lot more uh, improvement. Um, I do kind of like this uh, custom tree that was made here with uh, coaster parts and all these uh, bushes. That was kind of nice. Um, then there's also a junior coaster here in the corner. Um, yeah, when you make a junior coaster, <laughs> I don't think you should try to put all these uh, big supports under it. Uh, it probably looks a bit too big to be a junior coaster now. Alright, here's the entry made by Jens G J. Jens J. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the coast here leaves the station. Um, what I noticed was that it actually travels out of the station really slowly, so there's no really no need for a banked turn here. Um, also, um, this lift hill is very, uh, yeah, it's not very steep. While vertical drop roller coasters uh, really always have a steep uh, lift hill. Uh, so yeah, I do like kind of like the layout until the first uh, set of brakes. It uh, travels uh, through the landscape uh, nicely here. The nice uh, Immelmann here. Uh, after the brake run gets a bit weird, it goes underground here uh, very steeply and then, then up again. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, I don't think it's a really bad entry. Um, the scenery here with the castles, I think it actually could have used a bit more uh, variation. It all uh, looks a little bit uh, too much the same. So the coaster is called Helix, but uh, it doesn't really have uh, any helix helixes. Then again, neither does the real coaster called Helix in uh, Liseberg. But oh well. Alright, here's the entry made by uh, Ricardo Wardo. Uh, he didn't spend much time on it, and I think that's quite uh, visible. So yeah, overall, I think the map uh, looks quite nice. Uh, I'm not sure if the, all the blacked out stuff really helps. Um, I also don't know uh, why the water is green, and why there are skeletons uh, in it. Um, station building, quite simple, but uh, it looks okay. I do really like this uh, sign here, with the X. Uh, 
I know what to cause weapon X. Ah, so that's why it, the, the sign is like that. I think that's quite cool. The layout also uh, nice and simple. Kind of reminds me of uh, Baron uh, 1898 at uh, Efteling. So yeah, just an uh, Immelman here. Then here inside the structure, uh, it does this roll. Uh, when you do an inversion, really don't put it inside support structures. That usually uh, doesn't uh, improve how it looks. Uh, so for this helix, I don't know if this these uh, support structures really uh, work. But overall, um, I think the, all the trees uh, help make the entry uh, look quite nice. All right, here's the entry made by uh, Mina. Um, what immediately shows Mina actually used the cars for the floorless roller coaster, which are four across. And I think that actually it doesn't make it look like a dive machine very much. It looks more like a Eurofighter or something with these uh, small trains. So yeah, I think that actually was a bad uh, choice. Um, overall though, um, I think the, the trees, the plants actually make it look uh, quite nice. I also like the choice of colors and I like how the some objects from the expansions were used in this tower here. Just to give it a uh, sort of a flickering light uh, effect. That's actually quite cool. And there's also these nice uh, boats uh, going around here. So, yeah, I actually kind of like this uh, entry. Um, I don't really think uh, with such short trains uh, you really need a dual station. If you look, if you look inside the building, uh, well, I'm not going to do it now. But you can already see the entrance here to the building. And there's also the exit here. So yeah, there's actually a, a dual station. But yeah, with such short trains, I don't think you will often see a dual station. So yeah, I'm not really sure if that was a good idea. Alright, here we have the entry made by Dr. Drangus. Well, Dr. Drangus actually got a one point uh, deduction from his score because he used uh, custom scenery. So it won't be visible here, but he used a support blocker. And that's actually a custom scenery item, which was not allowed in this round. Um, yeah, if he hadn't done that, he would have actually uh, scored... Uh, I think he would have ranked around 13th place or something. But yeah, no, it is how it is. I um, actually really like how this entry looks. Uh, this ship is really nice here in the middle. Um, I really, also really like these bridges with these nice arches. The buildings have quite a bit of variation. I really like that. Um, the coaster layout, uh, that, that's something I didn't really like. So yeah, um, I do like the, the station, how it goes up here. Um, and we have the holding brakes. Um, so yeah, then we have this, uh, I think it's called a rollover. Or uh, I don't know how this uh, version is called. Uh, you could see that the cars looked a bit strange in this inversion. Because these six cross cars normally cannot do coach screws, so it will just look like they're going sideways through them. But after this inversion, uh, I think it's just too many uh, helixes uh, for my taste. Um, so yeah, I think helixes on roller coasters are usually quite boring uh, elements. So you really should shouldn't uh, make too many on your uh, rides. But yeah, overall, I think this is a, this is a nice uh, nice entry. It's just too bad that uh, custom scenery was used. All right, this was this is the entry from DDD Robbie. He actually tied with the previous uh, contestant, um, and it's really nice to see uh, DDD Robbie uh, improve. Um, this is actually quite a nice layout. So yeah, just a vertical lift hill, uh, and well, a steep lift hill, vertical drop into an Immelman, uh, then a drop downwards into a loop, then a small helix and back to the station. So yeah, um, most vertical drop coasters that exist really have really simple layouts, and uh, so that actually I think makes this uh, layout quite uh, believable. And uh, I actually quite like it. I uh, also quite like uh, how this queue was uh, done here with the wooden coaster roof above it. 
But I wish the the actual station of the coaster also looked like that. Now the station really has a very simple um, roof above it. Um, yeah, I would have much liked it to be uh, the same as the queue because this actually looks uh, really nice. Um, and here we have a triple uh, launched free fall tower with one uh, not being used, I think, or. Uh, Oh, it's actually being used as well. Never mind. <laughs> uh, what I did really like was this building around the launched three falls. Uh, I think it could have used a bit more variation. Uh, and I'm not sure if uh, you should do rails like this all across the building. I mean, it probably look better if you combine it with some monorail or something or some other uh, yeah, some st stuff that looks like uh, structures or more towers. But yeah, um, I really don't think this is a bad entry. I actually quite uh, quite liked it. And also here's a really cool uh, custom tree made with a tower from the reverse freefall coaster uh, mixed with all these uh, jungle bushes. Alright, here we have the entry from Capitalism. Um, so yeah, he also made a quite nice uh, layout for his coaster. Um, I think it could have used some more custom supports under it. Um, there's also this tower right next to this coaster. Uh, apparently, these were stairs that led up to the to both uh, yeah, to the holding brakes in the beginning and the mid-course brake run. But uh, yeah, most people thought these were supports, and uh, just because they were not under the track, uh, it actually looks uh, kind of weird. Also, this piece of track here, I think, also looks uh, quite weird because uh, it probably would have been nicer if, it, if it, there was just a, yeah, a dropping piece of uh, wooden coaster track here. Um, other than that, I think the layout does look uh, quite nice. So yeah, there's this uh, first uh, vertical drop here, and there's the Immelmann uh, leading into the mid-course break run. After that, another Immelmann. Um, here's another inversion. Uh, some brakes here on top of the hill, I'm not really sure if that's a good idea. And a helix, and then back to the station. But yeah, the layout, I think it looks uh, quite nice. Also the landscaping is uh, not bad. Um, I do think there's an overload of uh, gumdrops and uh, other stuff used as rocks, however. Um, when you make these rocks, it's usually better to just concentrate them to an area. Or, uh, yeah. I think it's just better to use less of these and more uh, more trees. Just make the trees more dense. Um, because, uh, yeah, I think it's a bit of an, uh, of an overload. Alright, here's the entry made by Miranda. No, <laughs> this is an entry I was actually quite uh, disappointed with. Because there are so many cool tricks uh, used in this entry. Um, well, obviously there's this big uh, pyramid uh, roof. And to actually see the park, we have to use the cutaway view, so let's do that. And let's scroll it down a bit. Alright. This is probably the best height, height to use it at. So yeah, there's just so much uh, amazing uh, stuff here. Um, as you can see, it's done in an Egyptian theme. I think it's supposed to look like a casino, uh, Las Vegas uh, style. Uh, well, yeah, one thing that really disappointed me is what is that none of the right. Well, for example, the vertical drop coaster was not uh, was not running. I'm not even sure if we can uh, actually start it. I would have to look here in this list for the actual ride. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, it is actually running, but uh, there's no guests on it. And because it's set to wait for full load, it won't actually run. So yeah, one problem Miranda had was that uh, she couldn't get the guests to do any stuff in this park. And that's probably because of all the pads that are layered on top of each other. Um, yeah, anyway, that's just... Uh, you probably shouldn't overcomplicate uh, the park. Um, so yeah, now I, that the coaster is no longer on wait for full load, uh, you can actually see it running. But because we have the 
cut our wave view on, we ca actually cannot see it. Go to the top, maybe like this. Oh yeah, like this is better. But yeah, um, there's lots of cool stuff in this park, but uh, as I said, there are practically no guests. Um, because the path layout is just too, too complicated with too many paths layered on top of each other. The coaster is really difficult to follow. Uh, it wouldn't run um, because it was waiting for full load while the park has no guests. Other than that, uh, I think, um, well, yeah, if you, as you go through the park, you can see lots of stuff pop up, pop in, pop out. It's just a bit of a glitchy mess. I think it's a real shame because there's so much uh, cool stuff in this park, but now we don't really get to enjoy it. I mean, this stuff here looks amazing. Just these golden uh, coaster track pieces. Uh, yeah, there's just so many cool tricks uh, used here, but uh, it's it's just a real shame. The part I actually liked the most was this Anubis uh, statue here. Also made with mostly with coaster track pieces mixed with scenery. But yeah, um, it actually scored quite low in this park. But uh, yeah, it's just it's just a real shame. Okay, here we have the entry from Tommy D. Uh, he made this nice little uh, mine uh, with a simple uh, vertical drop coaster. So yeah, the trains. Uh, I think this building is the station building. Uh, Let's see how the track goes. Oh yeah, so from there, the trains uh, drop down onto the lift hill. Then they drop down here into this, uh, it's an Immelman. Um, then they go over this hill onto the second uh, or the mid course brake run. And then here they do a weird inversion. Um, I have no idea what he did here. Um, it looks like the cars go up here. Then I could see the train glitch a little bit before it went through the inversion. Uh, I have no idea what happens here, but uh, it is quite strange. Uh, there is probably some uh, mini golf track here. Uh, yeah, I think I see what's happening. <laughs> so let's quickly change. I need to know what happened here. So I will just change this ride into a different ride type. Yeah, exactly what I thought. So yeah, actually when the train reaches up here, um, it actually goes through this mini golf courses uh, just to teleport it to this inversion and then it teleports back to the normal track. So if we hide this track, uh, no, never mind. Um, So yeah, because the train is going upwards here, uh, then as to go downwards, I guess the inversion didn't really fit. So he just used the invisible track to make the train go to the to this to this flat spin, and then down again. Um, well, of course, um, it does work, but uh, the tra you will see the train do some weird things while it uh, while it teleports through this uh, mini golf uh, holes. So you can see it here, teleports back to here, and then teleports back to the track. <laughs> okay, it's uh, it's creative, but uh, it does look uh, kind of weird. Okay, here we have the entry made by Blonde Tuko. Um, he actually went for a Fallout uh, team. Uh, I love the Fallout games, they're actually pretty great. Um, I do like the palette, as you can see it's a little bit darker than usual. Um, yeah, what I didn't really like about this entry was, uh, of course, it's fa a Fallout team, but it actually looks quite uh, quite sparse. It could have probably uh, looked better with some more uh, decorations, uh, maybe some more buildings, actually, also in the Fallout style. Also, um, it's generally not a good idea to pack fully pack rides in glass, like, like done here. Uh, when you do something with glass, really, you try to use different materials. A glass box is uh, never a good idea. Um, there's also one of these uh, sex spin rides. I think this is uh, really well executed using the multi-dimension coaster track. 
and also I think it's mixed with some uh, track from the laydown roller coaster. All right, here we have the entry from Link74. Uh, he actually went for a death team. Um, so yeah, what you can immediately, uh, what immediately is visible here is this intricate uh, support structure around the coaster. Um, I think these are uh, supposed to look like a skeleton, like bones. I actually quite like the way it uh, looks. Very intricate uh, supports here. So I like how these uh, supports go uh, attached to this vertical part here. That's quite cool. Um, I also like these uh, bones here at the bottom part. These are actually uh, park entrances. <laughs> says here, why do you look up the park name? Uh, so yeah, the actual park entrance is hidden. Uh, I guess he just copied these using the tile inspector. And I, they really work well as uh, as an arch for the coast to travel uh, to travel under. Uh, you can also see the smoke coming out of the ground here. I think it's just the top of a scenery item. Uh, let's see this. Yeah, it's actually a piece of a house. Uh, which has smoke coming out of the chimney. So yeah, he just placed those uh, underground and uh, now smoke comes out of the ground here. I think that's uh, pretty clever. Um, I just uh, saw really nice uh, little details everywhere. Uh, I like this bridge the coast that travels under. Uh, so burger cave here, uh, that probably could have used a bit more uh, details here. Uh, there's also this top spin here under these uh, bones with uh, Mr. Bones on top of it. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, just uh, really cool uh, little details uh, everywhere. Um, I probably haven't mentioned this yet, by the way, but if you want to see these parks for yourself, um, if you are a member on my Discord server, which is free, by the way, um, then you can simply look in the archive and there's a link to all the entries of this uh, contest. So, if you click that link, you can download them all and check them for yourself. And that's... You should probably do that for these uh, entries with so many details, because I cannot possibly cover everything in this video. Alright, on to the next entry. Alright, here's the entry made by Capstash. Uh, I really like the roof of this uh, station, that actually looks uh, quite good. So yeah, it's a wooden coaster track with a uh, monster truck uh, track on top. Uh, it's a steep lift hill here, and then a really big drop downwards, followed by a curve. Then uh, there's a dive loop here, and then it actually gets launched here uh, onto the well, a hill with the second vertical drop. And then here's some more, uh, some more uh, big hill, some more curve track, and then back to the station. Um, what I like less about this entry is that actually that the support structure under here, it actually looks quite messy. Uh, this probably could have been done better. Um, other than that, uh, there's a transfer track here, right uh, in the middle of the track, uh, at, the, at the boost. Um, I think a transfer track would have made more sense at the end of the coaster, right next to the station. Uh, it could work here, uh, that's true. I think I would have liked it more here. Um, something else I really like in this entry is the, all the greenery. Uh, I think that's done quite well. Some nice variation of uh, floor textures, uh, etc. And of course there's also a river rapids ride going around here over the waterfalls. Um, well, and then here suddenly the river rapids uh, turn for no reason. So yeah, when you make river rapids, you should really always have uh, some sort of barriers around it, just to guide it uh, around the track. It doesn't make sense if it just does a turn here uh, with nothing guiding it. But uh, I really like how this entry looks. It, uh, it has a nice uh, jungle uh, feel to it. Alright, this entry is from Phoenix Wing 101. Uh, Phoenix Wing made the... I think it's the ship from uh, Jabba, from uh, Star Wars. Uh, I quite like the the ship. Um, not really sure about the sail structure. Uh, it may be a little bit too thick. Uh, well, yeah, this uh, at this entry got a big range of uh, of votes. 
course, for people not familiar with Star Wars, uh, they probably didn't really know what they were looking at here. Um, the layout of this vertical drop coaster, I think it may have been a little bit too much. Uh, but I do really like this first drop right into this uh, into these teeth. I think in the movies there was this uh, monster in the, also in a in a sand pit. So yeah, that's actually really uh, creative. Um, but yeah, a lot of the area here in this park is just sand with some sparsely uh, scattered bones. Um, I think when you, even when you make a desert. Uh, some buildings or some uh, some variation in the surroundings usually will make it look uh, much much better so yeah i think it could have been improved a bit uh, in that department okay here's the entry from misik 93 uh, he actually made a dueling vertical drop coaster uh, i think it's the only dueling vertical drop coaster we had in this uh, contest uh, i actually quite like how they uh, duel with each other uh, right until uh, this part at the brakes, because they're uh, they usually desync quite uh, badly. So yeah, that's a shame. But other than that, uh, the layout is quite cool. Um, he used the wide trains eight across, and uh, if you look closely, you can actually see the trains are so wide that they're overlapping here. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure if the eight across trains were really the right choice for this uh, dueling coaster. Um, well, other than the coaster, um, again, there's one of these uh, sex spin rides. Uh, I think this uh, this actually works quite well. I kind of like the supports that were uh, made here. Um, and then there's uh, some launch three fall towers here. Actually, these are drop towers. Um, but yeah, each of these rides really has a bit of their own area. Um, the rides don't really interact. Um, I think it would have been nicer if the, these towers were actually closer to the coaster. Just to make this coaster look more like the centerpiece. And now these attractions look a bit like a filler. I do really like this uh, this building here, right next to the launch freefall. That looks uh, quite quite cool. Okay, here's the entry made by uh, Pinyan. Uh, Pinyan made this uh, mansion. Uh, I think the mansion was from a vampire. Uh, that's also why this uh, is a, there's a river of blood here. Um, so yeah, this this uh, entry is actually quite cool. I kind of like how this uh, coaster travels up the lift hill here, uh, right into this uh, clock tower, and then drops down, uh, goes through this inversion here. Um, the the drop actually has a 90 degree turn in it, a real. Vertical drop coasters don't do that, so yeah, that doesn't. That's not very realistic. But other than that, I think the layout is quite uh, believable. Um, some nice inversions uh, here. There's a brake section then with the, the second vertical drop. Uh, I kind of like the the effect here made with the splash boats uh, elements. Kind of looks like a water splash. Or blood splash, I should probably say. Uh, one thing I didn't like about this entry is that uh, every time, as soon as I open it, uh, this mini flight uh, attraction actually breaks down, and there's only one mechanic. So, um, and yeah, the cars actually stop there. Maybe I can fix it. Let's use some cheats. But yeah, you won't see it running uh, until you actually uh, repair it manually, because the mechanic will take a while to get to the right. So yeah, um, when you have saved your park, uh, really uh, open it, test it, see if any rides will break down. It's a shame if people don't get to actually see your rides uh, run. Would be a shame uh, for all the hard work you probably put into it. So yeah, this is actually a shoestring ride. Uh, I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, something I really like about this entry is this uh, this clock tower. That's actually done. It's uh, it's quite cool. I think these these are uh, support uh, pieces. So yeah, that's uh, that's really clever. 
I also like the way this roof uh, has been made. Okay, here's the entry from 89 James, 89. Um, sorry, this is an Asian style, uh, Asian style entry. Um, so yeah, the coaster has a diagonal uh, lift hill. Uh, I don't know where it's currently is. Uh, it only has one train. I probably could have used an extra train. And, uh, there's a lot of people waiting in the queue line. Um, so yeah, travels up here the up the diagonal lift hill under this uh, Tory uh, gate and through the loop. And there's a big uh, helix section here. And another loop travels under some buildings here. Then another helix. Uh, you probably shouldn't stack too many helixes. It's usually better to uh, just place an extra inversion or uh, or just one helix and then uh, continue on. Um, well, yeah, most of the scenery is actually a bit of the same. Um, probably could have used a bit more variation, or maybe uh, some buildings made with track texture. Um, this was actually my favorite part here with the Colosseum uh, with the pagoda on top. That's ex that actually works uh, really well, I think. So this Virginia real uh, track on top. That's uh, that's actually my favorite part of this uh, of this entry. But yeah, overall, um, I think the trees also have been done really nicely. So yeah, great, uh, great entry. Okay, this is the entry made by Dennis. I'm gonna assume his name is Dennis. Um, so yeah, what you can immediately see in this plot is the great color of the water. I really like the this palette. Um, so yeah, this is actually the station building. I think the the black looks really nice with the pink and the yellow. Uh, so yeah, the coaster travels up here um, and does this vertical drop. I really like this uh, how it goes through this little valley here under the pipes. Uh, then it does a weird, uh, a weird sequence of corkscrews. Then there's this weird bank track here going into the helix. And then after the helix, there's these two uh, barrel rolls, and then back to the station. So yeah, it's uh, quite a simple layout, but I think it works well. Uh, not really sure about this sequence of corkscrews, but it does make the coaster look unusual. Um, it's generally a bad idea to make a long banked section like this. It's better to just uh, go back to a normal uh, track here, and then only here at the helix uh, uh, start the banking again. In my opinion, uh, I really like all the little waterfalls here, uh, all the gardens. Uh, overall, this this park is just really good looking. Uh, I wish the coaster was a bit more of the centerpiece. So yeah, right now it's just in this section on the edge. Um, probably if it was a bit more in the center, maybe a little bit higher, I would have probably liked it a lot more. But uh, really, overall, this uh, this park is just really good looking. I also really like how we did all these black paths with a mix of all these uh, of these block, uh, yeah, of all these different blocks. See some uh, wooden blocks here, metal, uh, steel blocks. Uh, I think this looks uh, looks really nice. All right, here's the entry made by Bear. Um, the description of his uh, entry was some mythical bullshit. <laughs> So yeah, I think he also didn't really have an idea of what he was making, but uh, I do really like the look of this uh, giant tree here. So yeah, he made a big spiral of uh, coaster elements going all the way up here, and it's really nicely decorated with all these different kinds of trees. Uh, I think this tree uh, looks amazing. Uh, the clouds, um, yeah, he used all these gumdrops next to each other. I think he uh, should have also put some. Uh, gumdrops that were on the right side next to it, just to make these clouds, uh, to give these clouds a bit more variation. Um, yeah, he said he didn't spend too much time on this entry. Um, I really like this uh, this bird uh, kind of thing, I don't really know what it is. But yeah, there's uh, one of these animated uh, uh, scenery items from the expansions on top of it. Normally, I really hate those uh, animated uh, things, but here it actually works uh, quite well, since this is not supposed to look realistic anyway. 
the track layout, uh, I think it's a bit uh, boring. Uh, I mean, it does work. Um, but yeah, for example, here at the end, it's just uh, a series of uh, little hills here. I think he uh, could have easily made the track layout look a little bit more interesting. So the station building, it's not very uh, impressive uh, compared to the giant tree that's over here and all the other structures that were next to it. If he uh, made the station in the same style as, uh, as these uh, buildings over here, uh, it, it would have easily gotten a much higher score. But yeah, I think uh, Bear was really happy with 11th place, considering the, the little time he put into this. Alright, in 10th place we have this uh, entry from uh, another newcomer on my uh, on my server, friend of Smelly Tapir. Um, if you look closely, you might recognize this uh, ride. It's actually uh, his version of the ride uh, Cannibal. I think it's in an American park somewhere. But of course, he uh, redesigned the ride to look more like a vertical drop roller coaster rather than uh, a Eurofighter, I think. I don't know. But yeah, that also means it uh, uses these uh, floorless coaster trains, which are four across. Um, I think that's usually a tricky choice uh, to make. It probably would have looked better with the six across or eight across uh, coaster trains. Uh, I do like that it kind of follows the layout of Cannibal and also has the same colors and the scenery around it uh, just looks uh, really good. I like these uh, custom uh, supports that you can find here and there. Uh, I love all the decorations around it. For example, this looks like a big mouth with teeth that it drops into. Also this uh, structure here on the front, <laughs> I really like it. So it looks like these angry eyes with some teeth under it. It's like you're walking into a big mouth with a ride called Dino Drop. Uh, one of my fi least favorite parts is actually this uh, chair lift. It uh, goes up in, a, in sort of a weird way with it uh, going uh, left and right here, zigzagging upwards. Uh, yeah, that's something I don't really like. But other than that, all these uh, buildings here in the coaster, they all look uh, amazing. Alright, here we have the entry made by Risiko. Uh, he went for a steampunk uh, style. Maybe he could have used a different palette to make it look even cooler. But yeah, in this plot, there's in this entry, there's all these really cool uh, things. Well, obviously, uh, what everybody commented on immediately, of course, was the hot air balloon. This thing just looks uh, amazing. It's a really nice uh, combination of different uh, track elements. I believe it was uh, copied from some something someone on uh, any designs uh, made, but he said he, uh, he improved it a bit and gave it a bit of his own uh, flavor to it. But yeah, this was really the highlight of the entry, I think. And there's also this uh, Zeppelin. I wish it was as amazing as the hot air balloon, but uh, I think it it works. Um, yeah, I mean, looking at all these things, uh, you almost forget that this is a dive coaster contest. So yeah, there's uh, the station here. The coaster come up, comes out of the station, uh, drops down vertically here, goes through the Immelman. Then there's a dive loop here. And then it uh, goes through the mid-course brake run. Then it does this helix around the hot air balloon. That's actually quite cool. So it actually does have some interaction with the hot air balloon. Then there's this uh, extra helix here with some straight track. Uh, this was actually my least favorite part of the coaster. Uh, generally it's best to avoid having a lot of straight track and uh, just to make it look like it flows a little bit better. But yeah, there's a lot more uh, cool uh, buildings here. Uh, I especially like this building here. Uh, very irregularly uh, shaped and it has these really nice uh, domes here for the, from the 3D cinemas. Some more domes here and also this entrance to the park looks really good. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, if you if you want to look at all these uh, details for yourself, uh, just download the, the entry from my uh, archive on my Discord and then you can check the park out for yourself. 
All right, here we have the entry from Swarmot. Um, what I like most about this entry is uh, really the the lift hill structure here. Uh, I really like the, how we used the spinning tunnel here with these chairlift cables and the cog wheels around it. Uh, just to make it look like some sort of winch uh, and that connects them. That uh, actually looks really cool. I also really like the the buildings here. There's actually a Ferris wheel uh, made in into this uh, building. Uh, I really like the arches here in this building. That looks uh, really nice. I think this is a wooden coaster track. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's actually one of my favorite parts of this entry. So yeah, overall it just looks uh, looks really nice. Uh, some parts that I liked less, well. Actually, the layout of the of the coaster, it goes through all these elements uh, really fast. Uh, it probably would not be very uh, comfortable to ride. Um, also, the river rapids that are going around here, I really like this part here, uh, where it goes quite slowly, but then it goes through this big drop here, and really <laughs> it shoots down, it shoots down this waterfall. Uh, that probably would not be uh, very safe. So yeah, in the looks uh, department, this park uh, is really, 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 really good. Uh, layout department, I think a little bit less, but overall, great entry. All right, in seventh place, we have this entry made by Swag Tiddies. Um, as usual, he uh, made a great entry. Um, so yeah, goes to drops down, goes through this little half helix, uh, goes onto the steep lift hill, uh, right onto the holding brakes. Uh, yeah, this coaster really just looks like uh, what a vertical drop coaster is supposed to look like. It's just, the entry is just uh, very clean. Uh, the layout is uh, nothing too complicated. Just a vertical drop, immelman, then a dive loop. Here's a little uh, airtime hill. Then here's the mid-course brake run. Then another drop into a helix and then back to the station. I mean, this is just what a what a real vertical drop coaster would look like. Uh, I really also I also really like the support structure that he made. That's quite nice. Also with the Giga Coaster track in between these uh, launched freefall towers. Uh, I like all the decorations here above the pots. Uh, just all the little gardens, flowers around it. Uh, some nice launched freefalls here. Uh, so yeah, I actually saw quite a lot of people do uh, like a triple uh, launch freefall tower. Um, there's some nice arches here around above several parts of the coaster. I think that works really well. And something that uh, actually quite made me uh, made me laugh. Uh, this coach called Serpent Spitfire, and there's also a junior coaster next to it called the Son of Serpent. <laughs> but I thought that was uh, quite funny. But yeah, some really nice uh, buildings here. I love this uh, structure that he made. Uh, and I like how it's all, of course, done without any uh, custom scenery. So yeah, really, uh, really clean entry. Uh, really nice work, once again, from Swag TVs. All right, and in sixth place, we have this entry made by Mekit. Uh, Mekit, once again, placing really high in this uh, contest. Um, so yeah, it's, I really like how Mekit uh, combined all these uh, trees. Um, this this foliage looks uh, looks really good. It's a really good mix of these. Uh, I don't even know what these trees are called. Uh, a cedar of Lebanon tree uh, mixed with the black poplar trees and the jungle trees, and that uh, just mixes uh, really well. I think um, even some of the Expansion scenery was used here, the volcanoes, and uh, damn, that actually, uh, I think that looks uh, really cool. So yeah, it really gives you that Hawaii uh, feel, and the coaster actually goes right through all this uh, volcano stuff, through the lava, and that, that looks uh, really nice. Also, there's all these uh, volcano pieces used here. Uh, so yeah, normally you have the, the volcano, the large scenery item, but you can just copy and paste pieces of it and just paste them everywhere. And it works uh, really nice as uh, cliff edges or mountains. 
um, just a very high density of uh, of uh, objects here, and I think it, everything here looks uh, looks really nice. Even these expansion objects uh, work uh, pretty well here, in my opinion. Um, the thing I liked, uh, well, the the least about this entry was this uh, big stack of gumdrops here, uh, used to as the smoke coming from the volcano. I don't really think it uh, works well, especially with everything around it that's actually animated. But it's really the only thing I don't like about this entry. So yeah, great job again from uh, from Mekit. Alright, in fifth place we have this entry from Mama Rias. Um, so yeah, what, uh, what I actually didn't like that much about this entry was the, the palette. Um, well, the palette itself is okay, but I really don't like the colors of these uh, of this coaster and also of the support. I'm not really sure it uh, works well. Uh, what I did really like about this entry was uh, this vehicle hack that he did. So yeah, there's actually a conveyor belt here. Uh, it's actually a train with 220 uh, cars. <laughs> I think it's one of those... Uh, this is, I think this this is the last car of a corkscrew coaster. It, uh, and yeah, when you just put many of those behind each other, it actually looks like a conveyor belt. It is quite uh, tricky to do. You will need uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and a copy of the source code of Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 for this. Uh, yeah, I might at some point make a tutorial on how to do the vehicle hacking. Uh, you can actually also find a tutorial online uh, somewhere made by uh, SpaceX. But yeah, um, this is actually really nicely done. And I like how uh, Mamarias put also put this... Uh, I think this is the second car of a miniature uh, train. So yeah, the second car of a miniature train is actually this coal wagon. And he put a few of these combined with these uh, coaster pieces. And now it looks like these uh, cars are running around on a conveyor belt. I think that's a really cool trick. And that's also uh, <laughs> the reason why many people probably rated this entry uh, highly. Um, the coaster layout, well yeah, it's uh, kind of what you would expect a uh, vertical drop coaster to do. It's the big steep lift hill. Uh, a large drop here with some nice uh, supports. And it goes through this inversion here. Uh, through a dive loop. And I'm not sure. Ah, it travels right under here. And then it does uh, something nice here. So yeah, actually here um, there, you can see a brake section that it says here on the sign Danger Track Out. But uh, it looks like you will... Uh, crash there but it actually drops down here and then it actually goes on uh, some uh, mine train coaster track uh, before it will return to the station. So yeah, this entry has, really has some uh, some cool tricks. Uh, Mamarias didn't go all out like he did in uh, the last contest but still this is a really nice entry with some really cool tricks used. Alright, in fourth place we have this entry made by Ayrtont. Uh, this was also one of my favorite entries. Uh, I really like the color of the water here. And the color also mixes really well with the color of the coaster. Yeah, just a very high density of uh, stuff here. Also, uh, a lot of uh, verticality. That's also really cool. So yeah, the coaster leaves from this station here. Then it uh, goes up the diagonal lift hill. Uh, down the vertical drop right next to the waterfall then goes through the Immelmann there um, here it drops down uh, vertically again but uh, upside down uh, right up here is the second uh, vertical drop again with the holding brake another uh, Immelmann immediately followed by a dive loop and after that it uh, returns back to the station but yeah I just love uh, the big height difference uh, on this uh, on this map. Uh, the landscaping here is uh, is really amazing, and I also like how this uh, this uh, wooden coaster here, this mine train coaster, just travels uh, around the lift hill here several times. 
it's just really nice uh, interaction between these two coasters. Um, yeah, the waterfall also looks really nice. I think with all these uh, with the, all these ruins uh, pieces here. Um, I also really like how these uh, support structures here, uh, how the support structure here is actually shared with uh, this launch ride. Uh, I'm not actually sure how this is done. Uh, it's a flying roller coaster uh, train in upward launch. Uh, I'm not really sure how this uh, how this was made. Probably an invisible uh, launch freefall, maybe somehow merged with this uh, upward track. Yeah, I don't know how it's done, but it uh, it looks uh, really cool. Um, yeah, here's also some monorail tracks, uh, some really cool uh, buildings around here. So yeah, just lots of uh, lots and lots of cool stuff to look at. I really love the, all these uh, intricate uh, support structures. So yeah, like I said, uh, if you want to uh, look see all these details for yourself, just download the park and uh, go uh, give it uh, go give it a look. Um, oh yeah, and of course this was uh, one of my favorite parts as well. There's just uh, this train parked here with a really cool sign next to it. I think this is one of my favorite uh, details in this uh, in this park. All right, we are now at the top three. Um, this entry was from a newcomer on my server called uh, Jack W uh, T S F M, I believe. <laughs> um, but yeah, already when zoomed out, um, you can see this park is uh, incredible. Uh, you can see from the palette that it's uh, that it's a bit brighter than uh, usual. I think it works uh, really well for this entry. Again, lots of uh, vertical, uh, lots of uh, height difference. That always works well to make your park look uh, interesting. Um, there's really cool elements here uh, on the walls. There's lots of different wall textures. And I just love how the coaster uh, goes around, uh, up and around this, uh, this mountain here. So yeah, it travels up this really high lift hill. That's a big vertical drop. Uh, and goes through this inverted top hat. Uh, personally, when I make an inverted top hat, I usually stop the supports uh, around halfway, and then let the track carry uh, carry itself. I think that usually looks a bit better. Let me turn off the rain again. Uh, after that, the coaster goes through the mountain here, uh, then onto the mid course break run. Then does another vertical drop. And then it uh, travels more, uh, a bit more, all around the map. Uh, you can actually see it uh, go through the second inversion here. So yeah, it travels underground here, uh, then pops up again uh, over the water. Here's a bit of a water splash section, I think. And another inversion before it returns back to the station. But yeah, this uh, map once again has so many cool details, such a high density of stuff that uh, wherever you look, there's cool stuff to look at. Uh, for example, this Enterprise here, I really like how it uh, how it sits above this uh, this coaster track. That looked uh, really cool. I love the entrance to the park, this big uh, Tory uh, gate. Um, yeah, I, I could go on and on and on about all the cool little details that are in this park. So uh, yeah, you should really give this park a download and uh, see it for yourself. Alright, in second place we have this entry from Hank the Super Nerd. Uh, and damn, <laughs> this uh, already went zoomed out, this park looks uh, amazing. Uh, so yeah, he went for a steampunk uh, theme. Um, you can see this palette, it has all these tints of uh, brown. I think it works really well for this uh, theme. Um, I just love the first hill of this coaster uh, with this Ferris wheel uh, built into it. All these nice steel uh, decorations. This this is uh, one of my favorite parts of this park. It looks amazing. Uh, a really cool uh, layout for the coaster. Just really cool buildings, decorations. Uh, actually, I wasn't too charmed about this first inversion that it does. So yeah, it goes up, uh, I'm not sure if this is a quarter loop or a half loop, and then does a tight half loop right after it. I don't really think it uh, it works for this coaster, but uh, the rest of the coaster is just uh, amazing. 
Uh, another one of my favorite parts of this uh, park was this uh, glass dome building here that uh, just works incredibly well. That's uh, really uh, nicely uh, made. Um, yeah, and this uh, this park just like the previous entries just has really nice uh, details everywhere, uh, nice decorations, nice colors. Uh, I like this plane that's uh, flying around here. That's really cool. Uh, again, <laughs> I could just uh, go on and on, just uh, pointing out all the little details. But uh, I suggest you uh, just download this park for yourself and just try to find any hidden uh, details that I might have missed. There's just uh, a lot of them to uh, to discover. All right, and here we have the winner of this round. This entry was made by uh, Skiffa. Uh, Skiffa once again did not disappoint with this entry. The, everything here just looks amazing. Uh, he also used the floorless coaster car. Uh, it may have looked a bit better with the the six across or eight across uh, train, but he actually used the eight across train for this custom uh, flat ride. I think that's actually uh, quite funny, quite a funny trick, and it works uh, works quite well. Uh, I love the palette that he made, and he actually made the salmon pink color a bit darker. That's also why all the guests running around here uh, look like they have a uh, darker skin color, and. <laughs> I think that uh, works. Uh, that works really well for the theme that he was uh, trying to make. Uh, this plot was actually based on a. I think it was based on a book that he uh, really uh, liked. Uh, I can't remember uh, what it was called, but. Uh, but yeah, there's just uh, so many cool uh, decorations all around. He actually used a few of uh, the the loops that he likes to build. Uh, Probably you probably know them from uh, from Reddit, uh, where they call them skiffa loops. So yeah, they're basically just a tight turn followed by uh, by uh, two quarter loops, and then another tight turn at the bottom. We actually used uh, two of them in this entry, and uh, I think they look really cool together with the support structure that he put around them. I think that works uh, works really well. Uh, I love the the lift hill that he made here for the coaster. It looks like an awesome uh, temple, and also the the station building for this uh, coaster. It it just looks uh, so amazing. It actually has a trebuchet uh, right uh, right next to it, <laughs> called the horror, <laughs> and uh, I think it interacts really well. Uh, and it's situated really nicely next to this uh, station building. I don't think I've... Uh, I often see station buildings that are so well uh, designed. It's just a really awesome mix of track texture and uh, scenery elements. Uh, even from the expansions. There's just such a creative mix of uh, things. Also, I love this uh, this uh, roto drop tower. We're also with the monorail piece on top, the skeleton. And the skeleton and actually it looks really great also with the bones on top. Man, there's just so many cool uh, details to see here. Uh, so yeah, really, go uh, go download this park and uh, check it out for yourself. There's just so much amazing stuff to discover. And I'm really glad this entry uh, got uh, first place because it is amazing. Great work once again from uh, Skiva. Anyway, um, yeah, th those were all the entries for this uh, for this round. Uh, it was quite a long video once again. Uh, yeah, we do these contests uh, every month. Uh, if you want to join any of these contests, well, just uh, wait for me to post the next announcement video uh, where I announce the next contest. And in that video, I also explain how to join one. Uh, but yeah, to join you should uh, become a member on my Discord, that's something you can already do. Uh, Discord's a free uh, chat application, uh, and with it you can come into contact with lots of other people who love playing this game. And you can also ask for help, and uh, joining in these contests is usually a great way to get better at the game. Alright, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, I really enjoyed uh, showing all these entries to you. Uh, and I'll see you again in the next video.
See you later.